أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله All praises due to Allah and may his peace and blessings be upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم Brothers and sisters in Islam Brothers and sisters who are not of the Muslim faith Brothers and sisters in humanity I like to begin by greeting you with the greetings of Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon all of us We've been talking about shackles and the need to lift our shackles, specifically the self-imposed shackles, and we have attempted to identify some of them. And today we will be more focused on a very specific one, and that is anxiety. Anxiety. If you were to ask 10 people, 10 different people, what anxiety is, you will probably get 10 different answers, and most probably they will all be wrong. You ask people, what is anxiety? It is when I am pacing the floor for half the night because I can't sleep. What is anxiety? It is a lump that I feel in my throat. You ask, what is anxiety? It is when my palms are very sweaty. You ask, what is anxiety? That is when my heart is pumping so fast. And you ask, and you will get these types of answers and none of them is a definition of anxiety. So, what is anxiety? How can we overcome a thing? How can we liberate ourselves from something that we cannot clearly identify? Lack of sleep or insomnia is not anxiety, but anxiety can lead and can cause insomnia. Restlessness and fatigue, this is not insomnia or this is not anxiety but anxiety can cause restlessness and fatigue feeling that lump in your throat is not anxiety but anxiety can cause such a thing these are all characteristics or symptoms of anxiety but it is not anxiety what is anxiety it is an emotion that we face when we experience any threat or perceived threat, or any danger, or perceived danger. And it, an emotion that we experience when we are faced with either threat or perceived threat. The key word in what is being said here is the word perceived. See, there is a positive anxiety, and then there is that negative anxiety. Positive anxiety is a red flag, a warning sign, that we are telling ourselves that we need to pay heed or we need to pay attention and as such it becomes a positive attitude or a positive sign however there is that part of anxiety where the danger is not real but rather it is imagined it is not the threat is not real but rather it is perceived and at that point the anxiety becomes very negative and it becomes a baggage that would wear us down that would shackle us down, that would pin us down, that would limit us from living our potential. One time, a group of people got together and they started discussing one of their friends who happened to be Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib, an extremely, extremely intelligent man, a beautiful companion of the Prophet, peace be upon him. So as they were sitting, they started talking about how smart uh, of an individual he is. So they said, let us test him. Let us see you know, how, how smart he is. And they said, why don't we formulate a question, discuss it amongst ourselves, and see what kind of answer we get, and then address that same question to Ali ibn Abi Talib, and see what kind of an answer he would give us. They said, why don't we ask him as to what was the strongest thing that was ever created by Allah? An absolutely fascinating question. So they started talking about it. What is the strongest thing that was created by Allah? So they started saying, well, it's got to be the mountains. They've been there forever. And somebody else but said, wait a minute, you can use iron or metal and you can cut that down. And as they are talking, Ali ibn Abi Talib walks in. And they look at him and they said, Ya Ali, ma aqwa ma khalaq Allah? He said, oh Ali, what is the strongest thing that Allah ever created? And Ali immediately went like this. 10 things, as if as he has thought of this question himself. And listen to this line that Ali creates here. 
He said, mountains. He said, again, that's what they said uh, initially. It's being there, and when you think of strength, you're, to, you're looking into physical strength. At least that's what comes to mind initially. So he said, it's the mountains. They've been there for ages. But then he said, as they have said earlier, you can cut them down with metal or with iron. Therefore, metal must be stronger. But then he said, you can also melt it down with fire, so fire must be stronger. Then he said, but you can put fire off by using water, therefore water must be stronger. And then he said, but it's the clouds that carry the water, the clouds must be stronger. But then he said, it's the wind that directs the cloud, the wind must be stronger. He said, the same wind though, that directs the cloud does not move man, so man must be stronger. But then he said, intoxicants, this man is so firmly stepped or established now, but see this man getting drunk and he loses all the control that he had. He said, therefore, intoxicants must be stronger. He said, but you can outdo the effects of intoxicants on man by them going to sleep. He said, sleep is stronger. And then he said, however, if a person is experiencing anxiety, they will never be able to go to sleep. He said, therefore, he said, the strongest thing that was ever created by Allah is anxiety. You look into statements like this. Along with the statistics that we know nowadays of people who suffer from anxiety. I remember when I was in the States, we were told that about 50 million people annually suffer from anxiety. Now that in itself is not a bad thing. But how long you allow it to take place? How much you allow it to pin, it, to pin you down or hold you back? Then that is where it becomes problematic. Please let's be clear about one thing. Sometimes we think that if you are a believer, if you're a strong believer, you're not supposed to be suffering from these things. And that is a fallacy, brothers and sisters. No matter who you are, we are all susceptible to that position. And that is why the Prophet, peace be upon him, says, مَا أَصَابَ الْمُؤْمِنَ مِنْ هَمٍ وَلَا نَصَبٍ He said at any time a believer is afflicted with either anxiety or grief. And the word here that the Prophet, peace be upon him, used is the word mu'min, which actually speaks and specifies a certain level of belief, meaning that we're not talking about somebody who just outwardly claims, but they have actually proved that. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, said that a believer is susceptible that such a thing might take place against a believer. So when we address these aspects, we're not saying that this is caused by lack of faith. As I've heard this so many times, people said, I am depressed. And people would come to them and say, see, you have not put your trust in God. And that is why you are suffering from this. You know, I'm feeling very anxious. I have anxiety. And people say, because you don't have a good relationship with God. That is a fallacy, and please just shun this, put it aside. Because as we have stated, even the Prophet, peace be upon him, has said that believers are susceptible to such kind of things. And again, just reality tells us that even believers do suffer from anxiety and do suffer from grief as well. But this is anxiety. It is that emotional experience that we go through when we are faced with either real threat or as we said earlier the key word here is perceived threat when it is perceived we are only afraid of our imaginations we become ourselves we become captives to our imaginations we become prisoners to our imaginations and that can hold us down we are not over with anxiety at this point we've only identified it we've spoken how it might generate uh, this or incapacitate us but inshallah later on we are going to explain how to overcome anxiety again this is a reminder that lifting the shackles is not only the right thing to do but it is also a religious obligation with this we come to the conclusion of this part of our program and we say assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon all of you.